Hello again everyone and welcome back to yet another stream of the Valorian Guards Episode 10 of Long Live the Emperor In our last episode, Episode 9 We had some victories We also had some defeats What do I mean? Well, we'll get to the bad news first I had this hair-brain idea of sending the Iron Marshal, the Vault, and his army back to Sicily. It didn't work out. Mm -mm. Nope, it did not work out at all. It was utterly defeated. Utterly defeated and totally wiped out. So that's the bad news. What's the good news? We have defeated both Nelson, yes, Lord Nelson, and at the exact same time, he had one of the British armies under the Duke of Wellington, Arthur Wellesley, and we sunk them on a one-way ticket to Davy Jones's locker. Yes, we did. Now, it did cost us some ships, however, those ships were technically British-owned, well, previously British-owned ships. So, in a way, we really didn't lose anything. The British were technically firing upon their own ships that we commandeered. So, um, we didn't lose really anything. So, uh, yeah, but we did lose the vaults army so um the idea of attacking sicily mm, not a good idea no no unless i have two armies attacking at the exact same time one to take the initial fight the other one to support and then take over their capital and garrison it so sicily may still be on the cards but right now we got other pressing matters this episode i'm hoping hoping to advance on vienna and uh, take the austrian capital off them as well as push on berlin and um, take that off the prussians yeah yeah but we'll just have to wait and see as well as that i just remembered We've also got Marat up in England. So could we technically take out the British in this episode, episode 10? Highly likely. But we'll just have to wait and see what the game does. Yeah. Because as we all know, this game throws in some curveballs. So um, we'll just have to wait and see. So without any further ado, we'll jump over to the game screen and get this party started, shall we? Let's go. Okay. And yes, guys, it is definitely freezing cold right now. And uh, hence why the beanie's on and the jumper's on. And I've got some hot coffee. I'm gonna say chocolate, I wish it was, but it's not, just, just coffee. So, uh, that is all there. Right, let's go. So, we are down in Marseille. And now that, uh, the vault is no more, I need another army, which I don't think I actually had it in Marseille. I think it's over, no, it's over here. See in this one. This guy is um, replacing the Vault's army. That's right, yep, he is. And already he's got his um, recruitment list. He's out there in the field going, I want this one, and I want this one, and this one. Oh yeah, throw some grenadiers in there, yeah, why not? <laughs> I can just see that. I can just see one of my marshals doing that. Yeah. Yeah, like a shopping spree, yeah, shopping list. 
I want this one, and I want this one, and I want this one. But anyway, um, what were we doing? Oh, yes. Now, I have Benadot. He is just on this bridge here. He's going to push up on Hanover. So he is there, and he is there for a reason, because Old Man Bleeka is there. Now, I did mention that I was hoping to get to Berlin, which is just over there. But I've actually forgotten one thing. We made peace with Prussia. How long that lasts, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we got peace with Prussia. Anyway, um, I know one, one that we don't, and that is, uh, Russia. We're at war with Russia again, and we're at war with the Austrians. Yeah, why not? We'll just turn our attention to beating up some Russian and Austrians, won't we? Yes, we will. And to do that, we have Mushroomies. I mean, just there. As well as, um... Napoleon. The Emperor. And anyway, they're outside um, to the north and to the south of Munich. And, um... we just got to wait and see what happens with these Russian... Russian armies. That one's in defensive stance. Ooh, that could be interesting. It could be very interesting. Um, and who do we have down here? Oh, that's Messina's army. Of course it's Messina's army. You haven't moved it, Valorian. I'm sorry, guys. It's been a while. Alright. They're all there. Right, that's right, we've got to go over to England. Because we have Marat's army, just here. And it's a little beaten up, because we had a massive, uh, massive fight just there. Just, just there. Where, um... Where's the, um... The British basically um, sallied out from London to attack us. So yeah, so Marat's army is um, over in, in Cardiff in Wales and it is replenishing. So hopefully that is um, a big enough army to take out London, which I mean, it's got them. King German Legion? Hmm. I don't know where you're getting your funds from, Britain. It could, could possibly be of their actual buildings that they have here, which is not many. I mean, they just own England now. So it wouldn't be much of a, um, much of an army. Mainly just militia and principles and all that type of stuff. Yeah. But anyway, um, objectives. Um, we're making twenty-one thousand seven hundred and twenty. That's nice. That's nice. Um, objectives. We need to definitely start um, start making a move. Yeah. We've got sixteen out of sixty. We need to, um, need to kill something. Our prestige is straight through the roof. I mean, look at that. That's 2,242. The closest one to us is on 1,095, and that is the Ottomans. Yeah, we're about a thousand more than every, well, the second one. And then the next one down is Prussia on 975 prestige. And you've got 
the Austrians on 715, then Britain, then the Russians, and then um, Spain. Spain basically is dead. Yeah. Um, but it can still definitely be a sword in my side if they declare war on me. So we've got to be careful of Spain. That we do. Right, um, back down here. Yeah. Um, I want to find out what's going on here as soon as I press the B shiny green button. Um, don't think there was anything else. Oh, yes, let me see. Let's have a look. Alright, um, so Russia is uh, gobbling up the Ottoman Empire, apparently. Mm. Can we make any other trade routes? Not currently. That's okay. Oh, yes, that's one other. One other, um, idea. I keep having all these strange ideas, guys. Since we couldn't get to Sicily because of our doomed attempt, I was thinking of um, landing some forces in Naples, which I knew that Napoleon basically took Naples, the southern half of Italy, and stuck his brother-in-law, who I partly got in England, Marat, and made him king of Naples. Could we technically do that, take over Naples, and then push down by this land bridge just here, and take Sicily? Doing that would technically allow me a fortress here and a fortress here. I could do that, but in saying that, I may need two armies to do it, like I said at the start. One to initiate the attacking onslaught when we first get there, the other army to reinforce the first army, and then attack their actual city. Hmm. To do that, I need more generals. So, uh, let's say it is a distant future plan, I think. Yeah. But I do like that idea. I do. Anyway. Without any further ado, push this shiny green button, Valorian. We're going to right now. So, I've got my spy. Where's my spy going? Oh, that's right. He's off to um, Moscow. Hey British, what are you doing? You're kicking me out of there, you're kicking me out of there. That's fine, we'll just go and raid your uh, treaty groups. Uh, Russia want peace. No, I only want war. Oh, hello. You're attacking Ney's army and you're going to well, me, that is. I've got um, Napoleon's army. And I've got my ally. Ooh. Well, that's nice. But I want, um, I want my grenadiers first. Then I want. Those, give me them, you technically come in, you come in last, I want the, I want the grenadiers more than I want the emperor, okay, they heavily focus on their cavalry and their artillery, what are these guys? 
Veterancy Army, this one, the Reinforcing Army, which is the one that's in the uh, defensive stance behind them. Yeah, you've definitely been, um, been in the walls, this one. Are we beating up the, um, the Ottomans? Yeah, beating up the Ottomans. Okay, so we will save it. And, um, let's go. The Battle of Munich, 1807. Oh, and it wouldn't be a Valorian stream if it wasn't in the rain. It technically looks like the weather outside my window right now. Overcast and grey and yucky. Blech. Typical winter's day here in Australia. Better than it is down south. Down south is freezing down there. I would not like to be down south. Great conditions for snow on the uh, southern ski fields. But, yeah, nothing else than that. Alright, so uh, my voltiers are going to deploy stakes, and then we need our fusiliers of the line on either side, just there. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you can get another one of you. I'm like sinking. Right, I want it that way. I want it that way. Okay, so you guys go there. And I really do like these, um, what are they? French Polish lances. I really do like those guys. Okay, you guys. Very, very snazzy. And their uniforms, their uniforms look pretty cool too. Right, Marines, you go down. Um, no, you're gonna go there. Actually, you're going to go there. Alright, um, oh yes. Okay. Boy stakes. Let's see the fire. I get some uh, coffee because I'm losing my voice. Square, we have uh, Corsets coming. In this side of town, we want the Ploy Square because we also have Corsets coming on the right. Come on, guys, move it, move it. Ouch. That's not nice. That's not nice. Yeah, we're gonna send in the uh, Corsac cavalry. Which is fine, we can deal with them. That's why we got stakes there.
Really like a read. Come up over there, please. Move on the right hand side. And that cover is gone. So it's that one. Now their infantry advances. Come on, guys, shoot these guys, please. Send them home. Marines. Oh, much. Actually, you may need to focus up on the... Yeah, you may need the center. Yep. Yeah, where am I curve? There they are. Left over here. So their reinforcements or my reinforcements? Their reinforcements. Okay. This whole entire left needs to go there. Alright boys, advance. Move out. Then like the Miss Prime then. The French army will move out. Right, widen that line up for the marines. They are holding. Get them. into there. Break those in now. You, however, will go that way. Come on, Cav, I don't want you to break them. I want you to break their um, Russian Jaegers. Farm Square, because we got um, Corsair just there. Ooh, that's uh, our men are running, sir. Big Grenadiers, Russian Grenadiers. Uh oh, big bayonets. Oh, fix bayonets, charge them, fix bayonets, go them, same as you guys, go there. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Wunderbar. Money fee. Right. Go there. Chase the flame away. You're just protecting my flank over there, which is in a really good position. You guys go there. Actually, no. You guys put your shiny little sticks away. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Yeah, the fool just kind of chemicalized himself into my lines. Foolish general. Right, you guys go after their artillery, please.
they would just wait for their attacking secondary army whenever it did it arrive which is them but it will already be too late so yes it will then that is not for me I mean said Napoleon go home you did not listen you might be the emperor but uh, you want to rule your empire you will listen to what I tell you to do and yes guys I do know that I just told Napoleon to behave himself I do know that Grenadiers, I do not want them coming back. And now all we do is just wait. Basically, just wait for their attacking forces to meet mine. Just hearing the sound of those cannons. Mm -mm -mm. Cannons. Mirage and place. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Of course. There is still a uh, Russian army out there, so we've got to crush that before we can claim total victory. But we're getting there. All the while, the main general is sitting here enjoying his coffee. Like I said, it is freezing cold right now. Right, Cav, pull back. I do not want you totally destroyed. You're my, you're my, you're my new, uh, new elite cavalry. I don't want them killed. If I can help it, that is. Yes, guys, I know what I just said. It's cavalry. I don't want my cavalry dying. I know, I know. But there's a lot of you at home sitting there going, Glorian, you don't ever say that. Who are you? Are you some type of imposter? No, guys, it's me. <laughs> I just really don't want these guys um, dying on me. Because they're, they're really good units to have. No. Uh, guys. Yeah, I just sent you way over there. Come back. Come back and wait for them to come to us. still have no idea how to hide the HUD guys, so if anybody does know, um, please drop it down in the comment section for me, because I would really, really like to get some um, cinematic views, etc. So when I go and edit these uh, videos later, um, I can get some thumbnails, etc. Just seem to be really cool. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Yeah, that would be the Vortiars. Who can technically come up over here now.
I have no idea what's going on with my voice right now, guys. And I apologize for it. But, um, it seems like I got a flug in my foot. Russians are fleeing, sir. Yeah, huge mess route just there. They cannot stand the might of the Imperial Army. Oh, Grand Army. Yep. The Russians are fleeing. They're like, nope. That, that infantry just been totally obliterated by those um, cannons. Talking about cannons, one barrage, that my gun. I don't know where my dragoons are going. There I get them. Please get them. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah. Annihilate those um, Russian infantry kill squares with my artillery, of course. Um, yeah, I see you there shooting my uh, cavalry. I know you think yourself so clever. You think yourself so smart till I send you to Mars via a cannonball. Alright, just hide over here, please. Just hide over there. You guys. Uh, get all them. Around over there. We can technically fast forward because we know who's going to win. Keep them alive, come around, get them over there. My degrees are... One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Yeah, the fight's almost over, mate. We don't have to worry about ammunition. Voila. Done. See, how many did we lose? We lost 1,493. Okay. Sent them two Russian armies back and the Bavarians finished them off. Nicely done, boys. Where were you going? Um, you coming up over here somewhere? If there was a um, Russian fleet around somewhere. Maybe here somewhere.
Mm-hmm. We're in there somewhere. I know it is. Mm -hmm. I want you to jump on that one. You to go to there. You to go to that one there. Actually, I want you to go there. Okay, that. Right. Where we going here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's get in there. Definitely want that upgraded and one. Now yeah, we're looking in an island. Not too shabby. Hmm. We can definitely upgrade these. That one there. And that one there. Let's go. Yeah, why not? I want that. And we got those in there. Okay. That's there. What we got in here? Oh yes, that's that's right. Can they still own that? Because it's a part of um London. Hmm. They, um... No, they haven't. Yeah, I think England is, um... Just about dead. Just about dead. I say that because I'm going to kill them. You guys in there? You got your three more tears coming. Which Dutch ones? Mm. Whoa. You guys are expensive as all hell. Mm. Yeah. Can we get some of them? I do know. Right now, what I do need is um we need yeah, that's right. Okay. Then some of those. Yeah, just get me those for the time being. But I'm thinking of carabine. Where were they? Those ones there. The red lenses. They don't look red to me. They look, uh, oh, they're in teal. No, we gotta get them. We gotta get them. They're in teal. They're in teal. I don't care about the Red Lancers a bit, they're now no longer called Red Lancers, they're called Teal Lancers. Yeah, gotta get some of them. Okay guys, sorry, Grenadiers, you've been... You've been, uh, moved down the line. I want these guys. I want them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I do. What is our research? Okay, we've got one more research for that, um, one more turn for that. Let's three more for that. Hello, sir. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Um, hmm. Is there any actual things that get me... Experimental power stuff. Yes, that's what I want. I want that one. Yes, I want that one. 
Mm -hmm. I want that one. That will be ready in five turns. Five turns, but you be ready in one. So you finish that off, which unlocks the military academy. So this one here. And opens up all this in here. And then I can go for this one here, which gives me the um, experimental houses. Which is also another unit that I really, really want. And then when I storm Vienna and Berlin, I can basically lock big giant cannonballs on them straight over the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. Yep, do that. Alright, meanwhile, where is... Where is he? There he is. <laughs> Napoleon! Come here, come here, Monsieur Emperor. Um, I want you down here. Down here. Yep. Now there's Prague there. We're all with Saxony as well. Okay. Um. Hmm. Just stay there, you two, and um. Just wait there for further orders. Right, Asina, you are replenishing like an absolute madman. But I need the um, replacing army for the vault. Come down here. And then we're going to march on the inner, which is just there. Hmm. I guess I could take out that one as well. No, no, just, just wait. Just wait. And where is that uh, army? You're sitting there. And you're getting those. Okay. Alright. I really want a battle. But I can't because my men are not up to scratch just yet. I don't want to lose any more generals. No. And we just lost, um, we just lost the Volk in the last episode. He was sent on a, uh, on a revenge mission. It didn't work out. Mm -mm. Nope. Alright, so better dot, you're fully replenished. Mm. You're just sitting there on that bridge currently. If I don't have uh, Prussia knocking on my back door, why well, go and poke him with a stick? Hmm. Alright, you're down down. Yeah, I'm thinking of using Ney and Napoleon. Take out Prague and um, Saxony. Yeah. Alright, in turn. Find out what happens next. That's convenient. Uh oh. Um. Well, hello there. Well, well, well. What do we have here? I want the grenadiers going first. Like 
Okay, you're going to go one cavalry. What is this? These are German fusiliers. Okay. I really don't like these guys. They're like, um, their version to Voltiers. I really don't like them. Hmm. But anyway, we will, um, save it there and, uh, kick some Austrian boot. And no offense to anyone who is from Austria or anywhere else like that. So another place I would love to go and visit is uh, Austria and France. One thing I wouldn't mind doing is um, doing a um, following Napoleon's um, conquest and battles and all that. Um, basically go from Lisbon um, all the way through to, um, well, I guess you couldn't do it anymore because of what's happening over in that area. Um, but anyway, I'll get back to what I was saying. Moscow. Go from Lisbon all the way through um, Spain, Madrid, um, France, all in through there, see Waterloo itself, um, go over to Poland, do all that, and um, basically retrace all the battles that he had, well, the key ones that is, if he had lots and lots of battles, he had a huge amount of battles, but um, that's one, one thing I wouldn't mind doing. Right, um, we've actually got the city. Ew, hello there. Now, you are gonna go down. You guys are gonna go there. And you guys are gonna come up over there and go into that one. Why not? If the city is there, the village, why not use it? You guys are going to go on sentry duty. Okay, there. So we're basically just holding our own until Sina gets here. And hopefully, don't get taken out by a barrage of uh, cannonballs. Austrian cannonballs. Right, let's go. You guys in there. You guys in there. Yep. Okay. Ooh, nicely done. Cannons. Artillery. Shred those guns. Right, where are my... Please tell me they're not behind them. You are, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're behind them. Well, that's not the um, most desirable position. But I would... Uh, my reinforcements... Alright, go there. Go there. knew that you were um, coming in behind them, I would have, uh, would have asked for um, cavalry. That's okay. Grenadiers work just as well. Given that the uh, AI is like, what? We have Frenchmen on our back door? Yes, you do now.
Just lighting that forest just there. outflank me what they're trying to do you can see that on the map just here and any minute now I'm going to um, load canister which I'm going to do right now hold the ground boys Marching feet of grenadiers. Mm. Let the Austrians come. Then we're going to crush them. Because, uh, Martina, my name I am, is already here. They just don't know it yet. Right. That's all there. Fire it will, boys. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Yeah, he's uh, technically not a general. He's like a capitan. Oh, you Austrians are in for it now. Guess who's here? The Massini guards. And where there's Massini guards, there's always Massina. Give him a good taste of French lead. Oh, yeah. That ah, got him. Get out of here. Ooh. Ooh. And then all intimates me. Go there. Here it is. Bayonet and go. Surprise, boys. Guess who's here? Here it is. Oh, that's who. <laughs> oh, look at them all. Oh, have you not seen a much more glorious sight for that? When it is charging. Oh, yeah. Yep. For the Emperor! Viva la France! Oh, yeah. If it's not already pronounced, guys, my favourite unit, if I was in this time period, would be definitely the Grenadiers and the Old Guards. Get them, boys. Swamp the Austrians. 
Heal them all. I think they were quite rarely dead, sir. No chance, but they will be. Oh no. Hey, 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 hey. Stop shooting my top gun. You guys go there. I was uh, too busy admiring the uh, grenadiers, so I forgot about my my other guys down here. Oops. My bad. My bad. They seem to be holding their own, so you know. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, they are. You guys, we need you guys down here for detachment right now. Not sitting in the guards. Move yourselves right now. You guys are all finished over there. Do you have any work? Go there. Put your little shiny sticks away, bayonets. Because we have more crushing matters to attend to. You guys fix bayonets, go there. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry you have died for the Empire. We shall all be remembered. Oh, Capitan, go over there please. Or whoever is in command of your detachment now. A uh, lieutenant. Get down. Let's play next charge. Let's play next. Go after those cavalry, you guys. Let's play next. Go after those artillery men foolish enough to go up against grenadiers. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Get out of here. Oh, you Austrians are in for it now. Actually, go that way. Yeah, my city guards are here. Divisions will form column. Advance. Kill every last Austrian you see. Even cause I did not see these guys over here. Messinian right. guards, get in there, chops with Sui them. Guys, here, this one right there, are uh, the uh, Messinian guards. It's kind of like grenadiers, but um, highly entitled grenadiers. So that's them now. Guards. Go after 
time for the game. Doing all them good. And stop. Can we get over there? Get all them, please. You guys get them. You guys push the attack over here. Getting somewhere. Stop shooting my grenadine, uh, my Messinian guards. You come back. My boys are still within the, um, the town hall. My boys, hold the line. Reinforcements are incoming. This has definitely been one bloody battle. We have killed their generals. Good. Now they must break. The men is sweeping behind them. Well done, cavalry. Yep. Right, where it is, over here. Just over there, boys. And aren't screwed, um, if you're calling them grenadiers, the Tinian guards. You pest, get out of here. Yeah, these are the guys I don't like. Yeah, you like, um, Vaultiers, or the French. Well, these are the, um, Austrian variant to them. Don't like these guys. But it's okay because we've got the uh, grenadiers coming in after all. Yeah, go boys, go. Don't let them see you until it's too late. Then it is. Yeah. They see you now. Get them. Hmm, just skew him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they meant to me. Alright. Speed up. We know who won this. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Yes, of course. I have good ideas and they don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that their army is no more. Alright, victory for Messina. And that fallen Capitan. Right, so in that battle we lost 2,586. Mm. Right. I definitely need that other army. That we, um, that replacement army. The vault and need it down in Venice. Help out Messina. Alright, so you that is now done. Get me something right there, please. In five more turns. 
Right. Meanwhile, my spy has what wins happens. Just go to there. Right, what have they got in Prague? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So Napoleon, you're replenished, other than your dagoons. Well, hmm, okay. Um, you know something? I'm actually going to go there. You're going to go there. Then you're going to go there. You're going to go there. Then you're going to attack that. Right, so we got uh, Ney and uh, Napoleon taking out Prague. Um, and I thought you're just there. You're just there, okay. You're over here. Give me that. Right. What have we got here? Oh, I want them. I want that. And, um... I guess we should... Go around and, um... Upgrade all my... This is... Experimental Hellstar! Yes! Please get that one. Get that one for me. I don't want that. Yep. I want those. I was gonna say, oh, let's, let's go and um, get all our um, economy looking buildings and stuff. They can wait. <laughs> Uh, that stuff can wait. Especially if I can get uh, middle guards and young guards. Yeah. I'm going to get economy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's do more merchantmen. Right, um, how is Marat? Yeah, he's getting there. Getting there. I think we give it one more turn of um, replenishment. He's in striking distance of uh, London. You can go from there to there and basically take it out. Yeah. Okay, one more turn. That's where the Russian fleet is. Okay. No Russia, no. No peace, only war. Alright, so you guys are there. You know, little chap. Mm hmm. Alright, well, I know where you are, so just stay there. Um, yeah, blockade that one. You are blockading that.
Hmm. Let's sign it along here. Okay. We will definitely be kicking the um British. I just don't know when. Right, so you need six six more slots. Mm. I'm going to get um I'm going to get young guards and all that. But for the moment I need another army. So get grenadiers. Get the grenadiers first. And um we're definitely going around to get um my let me buildings up and running. So you all got that. There's a farmyard just there. Get that. Yeah, get that one. It hasn't been researched yet. Research hour. It will be in one more turn. Okay. Okay. What are you? What are you doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... I don't like that. You need to come down to... There. Yeah, I don't like the fact that that is right there. Um, hmm. And that puts a damper on things, doesn't it? Damn. get any more generals, can I? No, I can't. Hmm. I thought we'd get this guy. Oh, oh, hang on. A four-star general. Possibly this guy here. Hmm. I can't because I got six out of six. How do I get more generals? It's gotta be the um gotta be these guys. Yeah, maximum number of generals plus one. So I need the um military academies, the barracks and all that. I got um, nine turns for the one in Paris, and I got nine nine turns for the one in um, in Bristol's, uh, not Bristol's, Brussels. Mm. That's sneaky, you oh, Spaniards. Yeah, look at that around. I knew it would happen eventually, just didn't know when, but uh, we may have the, um, the Iberian War, the Iberian Peninsula War, if that's the case, then this guy here, once he gets to Marseille, depending on how powerful the Spaniard armies are, um, 
maybe sent down there. Which means that poor Messina has to technically keep Venice under a wrap and lock and key until I'm able to send more, um, more armies down. But I, re I really can't move Bernadotte away from now. Because he's in a perfect um, defensive position on that bridge just there. So he's basically stopping the, um, the influx of Prussians coming through this way. Yeah. But I technically don't want you there anymore. Or do I? Hang on. Before I make a decision on that. Yeah, I've got 80 guns there. 80 guns there. Want another 122 gun. Another flagship down here. Hmm. Actually, going to send you. I'm going to send you guys up here. Is this one? At least I know where the San Juan is. Well, not the San Juan, the Santisima, Trinidad. It's in that port just there. At least I know where that monster is. And they've got another army right here. I have a feeling we're going to be at war with Spain, guys. What was it about that game throwing curveballs? Yeah, this game has been throwing massive curveballs ever since the start of this campaign. You never know what's going to happen. And I've got a feeling we're going to be up against uh, Spain either next turn or the turn after. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, here goes nothing. Next turn, please. Alright, Napoleon. Right, so you, um, you're attacking Prague. Good. Save it. Let's go. You must not fear this, my lad. Defy him and you drive him into the enemy ranks. Napoleon Bonaparte, Emperor of France. Ooh, that is one not so pleasant artillery position. And yes, it's on the high ground, but mm, I would rather use be up here, actually. Yeah. Go right there. Good girl. And you may be wondering why, why did you do that, Orion? Is the way the, um, village is smack bang in the middle. They'll be just hitting the buildings and not the actual enemy. I don't want that. I want them to shoot the enemy, not the buildings. Right, um... Let's go there. Let's go in there.
Um, actually, I want. I want you guys. These ones to take over that position now. No, I don't actually. I know exactly what you're going to do. You're going to deploy your stakes there. Then my cannons are all safe. You're going to deploy stakes there. Then I'm going to move you guys over to here because you're going to defend or take up Defensive positions in that house there, this house here, fancy house, this one over here, the town hall. Then I'm going to move my grenadiers, one lot there, couple lot, or one lot there, one lot there, and basically lock down that, that area there. Yes I am. I can become a, uh, a master tactician when I want to be. And considering I have Napoleon in the field, I'm gonna be a little sneaky for arts. Yes, I am. And here you were thinking that there was only one Napoleon. No, there wasn't. Uh, many Napoleons. But there's only one Napoleon of France. Yes, I know guys, I know. I'm actually going to stick my cavalry way out here. You can go that way. Hmm. Let's go. Play that. You guys go there. You guys go there. You guys go there. You guys go there, you there, you over there. You guys go there. When it is, you take that position just there, please and thank you. Every go over that forest A area over there. Alright, Austrians, what do you got? What do you got? You got nothing. Oh, they did just take out my, uh, my horses. I do give them that. Yes, because I told you to. Come on, boys, get into there. Take up defensive positions. Come on, move it, move it. The Austrians are coming! The Austrians are coming! Yes, the Austrians are here! Right. They don't see what's behind them. <laughs> Foolish militia. Don't you see what's over there? In the tree lines? No, you don't. What's that? They weren't there before. Well, they're there now. 
They're there now. And they're going to kick your butt. Come on, guys. Get in the building. Why must I do everything myself? Which is one of the questions that Napoleon answered or asked himself at the photo of Waterloo. Why must I do everything myself? Look where that got him. Here's a question for you. For those that are watching this stream, etc. Leave in the comment section. Please and thank you. What you think would have happened, or may have happened, if Napoleon wasn't defeated at the Battle of Waterloo? Would he have been eventually defeated? Because when you think about it, the Russians were also there. They weren't technically there at Waterloo, no. But um, they were very, very close to, um, to the capital, to France, uh, to Paris, I mean. So, um, Napoleon may have beaten the British and the Prussians at Waterloo, if it happened that way. But the Russians and the Austrians, and whoever else were with them, um, would have basically cut his supplies, his um, supply line, and um, he would have had to immediately turn around, pack up, and um, attack the, uh, the Russians and Austrians. But, um, yeah, what, what would have happened? What if Napoleon, um, and what's your gunfire action and tactics there, the Greens? Oh, they got spikes just there. Oh, you are in a very, very deadly spot right now. Nay, go home. No one jump. Don't need ya. So, uh, yeah, what, what would have happened if, um, if, if Napoleon won, won Waterloo? So, uh, yeah, I, I leave that question to you guys. Austrians have made it to our back line, so if they have. You guys go that way. Cut them off, surround them, outflank them. Whatever the case may be. Every come back. Oh, you guys are right there. Oh, kill them, please. Come around, kill them. This Austrian army just basically melted. Even while I've been yakking for the last 20 odd minutes. Goodbye, Austria. Give my regards to Emperor Francis. Who, um, in history, became Napoleon's father-in-law after he, um, after he married the Princess of Austria.
He divorced Empress Josephine and married the uh, Princess of Austria. And then had a... Uh, had a uh, son. You guys actually fix bayonets, charge them. Okay. Our men are running, sir. Yeah. The goons are getting themselves killed. Well, actually, I'm getting them killed. More likely, I'm getting them killed. Not the other way around. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Really? I mean... Not like the Austrians have basically melted. Unable to stand the might of my armies. Uh, guys, you do know that there is a full battalion of grenadiers right behind you. You do know that. You, you know about it now. Not too late. You just got bayoneted right up the bum. Just saying. Never that. Oh, much. That's what this and thank you. Because we know who's gonna win. Me. Is up. Our men are running, sir. Yep, that's it. They're gone. Right, we've got victory for the Emperor. Okay. We lost my cavalry in that one. And we totally destroyed the Austrian army and lost 1,549. Right. Here's the Occupy. We've taken over Prague. Research is done. Okay, so we've got three turns for that. Eight turns for that. Nice. Nice, nice, and nice. What do we got here? We need that one upgraded. That one upgraded. Upgrade you. Give you newer roads. We'll upgrade you and you. Hey. Oh no, we lost 
lost one of those. We might get it back. Oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> uh, and yes, guys, I also have hay fever. So, um, if I start sniffling now that I've just done that, um, I apologize. Oh, that didn't feel so good. Right, um, goodness. What do we got? Yeah, I want all those there. In you. And can I... No, I can't because it's coming in one more turn. Okay, um... Yeah, you guys need to get into there. Police on that bridge just there. Right, and my grenadiers need to move themselves there. They don't like the fact that Spain is right there. Right there. They don't like that at all. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get some more. Get some more U's. And. You guys. Yeah. Gonna get some more U's. Especially down in Marseille. You two need to come with me. We are going... Going to there. You guys are coming up to... No, no you're not. You're going to stop right there. We jump on these guys. What do you think? Should we do it? Or should we not do it? Your traitor, your traitor. All over there. Hmm. My fighting fleet is over here. Could you... Uh, you want to go to the um, English Channel in the Northern Sea? Hmm. I really want to take this one out. Yes, an armored um, trading fleet. Okay, so much things to do, little time to do it. But we've got Marcina is just there. Basically almost replenished again. Damn Marcina, you are a beast. Napoleon, yeah you've lost all your cavalry. Yeah, you've got that one coming along. Okay. And we're gonna, um... 
Who's released stomp on um, Saxony? Berlin is just over there. Bernadotte is in a perfect position if um if um Prussia have decided to to um, attack us again. I think it's time to destroy the English. Right. I'm going to definitely save it. Let's go. Yes, I know. Just go there. Oh, now they may silly out all because of this one here. Why must the AOA always fault on my plans? Wonder how many times Napoleon asked himself that. How many times must the Duke of Wellington all this? Ripple Emerald, they think uh, their savior, Nelson. How many times will he be mentioned in my dispatches? Well, they won't anymore because they're dead. Especially in this campaign. Alright. Well, there's nothing else that we can do other than end the turn. Well, they didn't attack. Britain did not attack me. But they got a hell of a lot of forces in um in um London. No, Russia, no. No peace, only war. Alliance broken between Russia and Russia. Wow. Does that mean what I think it means? Mm. No, it doesn't, but okay. is broken. No matter. Okay. Well, this is the Battle of London. What do they have? Garrison forces. Lays and lays of militia. Good regiment, your British fusilier, King German Iron Foot Regiment, British Dutch Light Dragoons, 
And of course, Wellesley, Drake Wellington is leading this force. Which I am not surprised. Okay. Save it. Let's go. The Battle of London, 1807. The one battle that actually did not happen in history. Not in this time period, anyway. Not during the Napoleonic Wars, it didn't. Alright, and... There we go on the right. We're gonna go over here. Clean line of sight for the British. Not well, for the French, that is. To kick the British, obviously, so. That's what we're here for. Yeah, so I'm well aware of that. You guys go there. Okay. You guys go there. You guys go. Go there. Victory, sir, is soon to be yours. How can it be? There's the whole British army in the field under the Duke of Wellington's command. Right, we're gonna go right there. That's not nice, Mr. British. Not nice. Sound of those cannons. Alright, my rat, do not fail me now. Absolutely annihilated them. Absolutely annihilated them. Get those guys over there. Right, you guys, come over this way. Front door. Right now. You know, you guys actually need to fall back. Fall back right now. Hmm. 
British are not giving up London without a fight. Good. Very good. Get them. You guys? Right there, move yourself. That's it, boys. Get those um, peasants. Um, sister mace. Tell them that there is a new marshal in town. British soldiers and hidden in the forest, sir. Yeah, we do. But don't worry, we'll clear them out. British had basically used the same tactic that I used on them. Had their troops in the forest. Which we can see by right there. Alright boys. They want to take us on a lovely picnic in the forest. We will oblige. Get some bayonets and charge. Lighting out the lines, let's go. London will be mine before nightfall. I want to see a tri coloured flag on the top of the Tower of London by the end of this, this day. I know there will be uh, absolute sacrilege. It will be absolutely wrong to many uh, British viewers, but um, this is Napoleon Total War, guys, not real life. Even though that's what Napoleon technically wanted to do in real life. He wanted to stick a tri-coloured flag on top of the Tower of London. If he ever got to London, that is. If it wasn't for Nelson's fleet, the Royal British Navy, you may well um, come very close to it. The only thing that really saved Britain was their uh, wooden fortress, which he couldn't he couldn't beat them. No matter how hard Napoleon tried, as well as the French Navy. They just couldn't beat the British. Their um, naval superiority just couldn't do it. Well, um, I did it. I did it in this game, I did. Um, I'm still very surprised and shocked that I actually did. Given how powerful the British uh, naval units are in this game. And yes, okay, there's the, um, the, um, Darth mod, which is the only mod that I, um, play alongside with Napoleon. Never play without it. But, um, other than that, it is, um, even the vanilla game, 
British um, Navy if you're fighting with the, uh, with the French. Very, very potent opponents. And if you haven't checked out the last episode, episode 9, um, I sent Nelson's fleet straight to Derby Jones's locker. Yeah, get all those British hiding in the forest. How dare they? Look at all this carnage. It's a tri-coloured flags march on London itself. Central columns will advance. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. I'll slowly took him out with a hell of a lot of cannonballs. Possible. Don't know. Nor do I really care. Is the British are going to die? the hands of the mighty French army and the Imperial French Empire yes the Empire hmm. I have brought peace and prosperity to England <laughs> oh. as you can see guys I'm having way too much um, and there is a uh, announcement at the end of this um, this stream today, which should have been last week, but didn't happen. Yeah, I kind of forgot about it. But it will technically explain where a few of our um, campaigns have gone to and why they um, haven't been streamed in a while. Right, right, victory! Please tell me that's the end of the British. Oh, we totally wiped them out. We lost 1,782. Hey, he's fully occupied, please and thank you. So, what does that mean? England has been captured. Nation destroyed. Great Britain, the United Kingdom, is no more. Viva la France. Okay, well, that's one enemy dead. Now we need to make sure it stays that way. By getting, um... By getting armies and defenses and all that other good stuff. But need it when the camera does that. Alright, so we've got to make sure that we've got every single building upgraded. What are you doing? What are you doing there? You look like it, you've been there. Doesn't even matter. Those ports now belong to me. Alright, so, uh, in... 
my one's happy. Edinburgh is happy. Oh, this little tier classes aren't very happy. It's okay, we'll get some uh, militia. Get some militia, they'll be happy. fact that you're go there. You guys hmm. that's gonna get us now. It's alright, go there. Okay, that's all there. You guys are now in that army. Right, I feel a lot, uh, somewhat safer down here now. Just a tiny bit more safer. Still don't like the fact that you're there. Alright. You are yes, returns. Wow. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. You are going to die, sir. Yes. Thank you. Then you're going to go. Just say, keep an eye on both um, Berlin and Dresden, whatever else is flooding through there, as well as whatever's flooding through here. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's, um, that's a good place to wrap up today's episode, guys. So, yeah. Um, let me see screen, please. So, we have taken out the British. The British are no more. And that is all our um, diplomatic uh, relations in Europe currently. Mm. But, um... Yeah, the thing is, now knowing that uh, Spain is right there outside of Marseille, and there's another army just there. So they have two fully fledged armies, and they have a patrol. The Spaniards do. And they're pushing up from the, the depths of the uh, Iberian Peninsula. The Iberian War may very well be on our front doorstep very, very soon. Hmm. I don't like that. But as soon as, um, as, um, London is, uh, technically under a lot more stable condition than it is now, um, I can get my rat moving again. Send him back over to France and then down. Yeah. Either that or I leave his...
standing army already there. And basically stick him on a boat and take him back to France or... Yeah, actually. Flight detail guys, I'm not wrapping up the screen just yet. <laughs> because I want... I want you loaded into there. You go to there. And then you're going to go to the heave. And um, basically be headquartered back to France. Back to Paris. Where I can uh, create another another army and bring it down to Marseille. We'll have two armies down in the Marseille to um, keep an eye on the uh, Spaniards. Yeah. And then you guys sort of just saw replenishing. You guys have gotten two lots of militia. You're happy and you're happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I like that I like that idea. Yeah. Alright. Now we'll wrap up this we'll wrap up this stream, guys. So we'll jump back over to the chat and wrap it up there. So uh, yeah, so what have we actually got done in this episode? Episode 10. We kicked, destroyed, and murdered the British. The British are out of the game. There's no more Nelson, there's no more Wellington, there's no more British. They're gone. There is the populace, the inhabitants of London aren't happy with us, hence why the remainder of um, Marat's army is in London. So we've got to get their mood improved very, very quickly, otherwise they'll just rebel against us and the British will be back. Now, so um, we've got to keep that under wrap. However, the Spaniards are technically, they've got their armies in the field. We know that they have two fully fledged armies, one directly outside of Marseille, just sitting there enjoying the, the, enjoying the sun, and I have no idea why, but it's already there. Our garrison patrol um, defences in Marseille are on, are on full red alert. They're already there. And there is that new army that's gone and replaced the Volt's army, the one that I lost in Sicily. It's already down there. So it's just waiting to uh, see what the Spaniards do next. And I've got Marat on a ship. He's in Lahive currently. He's heading to Paris, France. He's going to get a new army and then head down to Marseille. Basically in time to beat the Spanish. If they declare war on us, which I think they will. I think they're going to ignite the powder keg and um, insert a thorn in Napoleon's side, which was the Iberian Spanish Peninsula War. Yeah. Not good. Not good. But we took over Prague as well. We're on the doorstep to both Saxony, um, Berlin. We're going to say Britain. Britain's already dead, Valorian. Um, so we took over Prague. On the doorsteps of Saxony, we're on the doorsteps of Brit uh, Berlin, and we're on the doorsteps of uh, Vienna. And no, I didn't take them like I said that I would in this episode, but hopefully in the next one, episode 11, we will. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. But all in all, not a bad stream. Not a bad stream. And, um, yeah, things are, um, things are moving. 
things are definitely moving. I just need to get my barracks up and running to get more armies out, more generals out. Because uh, that's technically the bit that's slowing me down. Until I get them, it's going to be action pack battle after battle, land after land, territory after territory. For the glory of France. Mm -hmm. And the Emperor. Got to remember him. And anyway, guys, that is me for today. I hope everyone has enjoyed the stream, both on Twitch, on YouTube, and um, all that good stuff. If you do like the stream, consider, if I can talk English, consider giving it a thumbs up and letting your mates and friends know all about it. Also, guys, if you want to know when I go live, there are links in both of those channels, the Twitch and the YouTube, that will direct you over to our Discord, where you can chat with me personally, give me some um, top secret um, guidance, tips, information, hints, whatever the case may be, and uh, chat with all the other guys who make up the Valorian Guards. So um, if that's your thing, I'll catch you there. But anyway, guys, that is it for me. As I said, I will wrap it up there and catch you all for the next one. But until then, please take care, stay safe, and remember, as always, that legends never die. Bye, guys. Tomorrow.